Hello everyone, welcome to episode 99 of this awesome, amazing <laughs> Osu Let's Play series. In the last episode, I talked about culture of the Osu community sort of as a whole, and I guess also my thoughts on how it compares to other game communities. And in this episode, I want to talk about Osu University. This is a place that I'm sure you all have heard of either through previous episodes where I've referenced it or maybe throughout the OC community in general. But I want this episode to sort of talk about the history of the server, why it started, and things like that. So if you're interested in the OC University lore, basically, this episode is definitely for you. But before I get into any of that, I'd like to shout out as usual that I live stream every single day over at twitch.tv. So that will be linked in the description. But if you want to hang out with me live or watch me play this game live or ask me questions, anything like that, please, please stop by, say hello. And also bonus points if you tell me that you came from this Let's Play series, we'll be very, very happy to see you there. So um, as I have mentioned, OC University is basically this improvement focused OSU hub. So yes, those of you who aren't very familiar, OSU University is this place that offers a bunch of like improvement related resources and there are let's see is also where I host my coaching services so if you're interested in Usu coaching the, I offer that along with I'm a fancy lad and Apraxia so and I'm sure over time we will be expanding the sort of coaching system but so if you're interested in the latest information about that you can join the OC University Discord server, and really in general, so OC University is largely hosted through the Discord server. So if you want to get involved, and that's pretty much where everything happens, you know, news, things like that. And uh, let's see, OC University also just has a bunch of like improvement-related resources in general. I think um, yeah, it's just it's actually a really really active community. So I mean, I'm I'm proud of I'm proud of OC University. <laughs> But yes, with that, um, also most popularly, I think OC University hosts top player interviews that I'm sure I have referenced or mentioned throughout this Let's Play series. But yes, let's see. Basically, in those interviews, we dedicate one week to a specific topic. We have a bunch of interviews lined up with different either top players or just very active members of the community to have them talk about their thoughts on training a certain skill or just a certain idea that's related to OSU. So, so with that said, I think that is largely what OSU University offers. And there's also sort of plans to expand it to other, I guess, features that are offered there. But um, so if you're interested in any of that, do join the server. There will be updates, 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 updates. But um, so that is what the server currently offers. But let's talk about sort of its history and how it started. So, oh, what? I just just tapped three times on a quad. Okay, that was interesting. <laughs> so, the server started mostly as a place to host my coaching services, basically. So, I started offering OSU coaching, but I didn't really have a centralized place or like hub for it. And so I would advertise it through either my live stream or through some YouTube videos, but I like I didn't have any place of like public information about it. So whenever someone was interested, I'd just be like, oh yeah, you know, if you're interested, then just DM me on Discord. And then I would have to like paste the same like info message explaining it to them and then um I don't know, just just a mess. Not definitely not the best way to go about it. So I was like, hey, you know what, I gotta make a server for this, but I didn't want to make a Discord server that was like only for OC coaching. Like, I'm pretty sure no one would join that. Or like, if they did, then like, why would they, like, wh what's the incentive to like, stay in that server and hang out there, right? So uh, another top United States player named I'm a Fancy Lad, or I I'm just gonna call him Fancy, okay? So Fancy, he also started doing some OC coaching around the same time. And I was talking to him about it and I was like, yeah, he was, I think it was him who was really like, yeah, we should make a server for this. And I was like, okay, but actually, okay, so this topic, or yeah, so in May of 2021, I met up with Fancy in Los Angeles. So I met up with him in person along with a couple other people. So 
the other notable name of this story is Joey, who you might recognize through... What map should I play? Okay. So, as you might recognize her... Actually, I think she appeared in one of these episodes, but she is the person who designed the logo, the current OS University logo. The purple and gold, I think, are the colors, but... Um, Yes, so she also, I think, she's basically co-founder, right? So we were meeting up with a bunch of other OC players, but we were at her apartment and we were like around her computer, just sort of talking about how, like, oh, you know, we should make a Discord server. And so, um, yeah, so Joey was also sort of a part of this conversation. And I mentioned to them that, you know, I'm not really sure, like, I feel like there should be more to the server than just coaching but like i couldn't really figure out what it would be and oh i almost, almost just misread what <laughs> and it was i think it was joey who was like why don't you brand it towards like improvement related um services in general or like osu related or like osu improvement stuff and you can name it like osu university or something and just have it be related to that stuff and i was like oh my god osu university that is genius so yeah, I wasn't really sure what to name the server, but yeah, then Joey said that and I was like, you know what, that, that is genius. So um, yes, that that is how that happens. So that's basically the story of the server and its name. And uh, I think oh, I sort of had a larger ideas come to mind for like what the server could potentially be used for which is, you know, stuff like interviews or just sort of making it a very welcoming hub of, you know, improvement focused stuff in general and resources, largely free resources as well. Okay. I think, um, well, I won't talk about this too much, but there's definitely a stigma around coaching in the OC community, which I find very interesting because in pretty much every other competitive game or sport, like coaching is very normalized and it's just a thing that people do um like you know sports lessons or piano lessons or like league of legends coaching i, I don't know random stuff right um but yeah, i think the community at large is a little more accept accept accepting of it these days especially i think with increased prevalence of coaching in general but um let's, let's see Ooh. Oh, this map. This map is crazy. I am not playing the top diff. will not be able to focus. Um, but there's lots of freely accessible resources out there. Um, and also, honestly, my YouTube channel also has a lot of technically free resources that you can learn about. You know, my thoughts about improvement in this game in general. All the 98 episodes of Osu Let's Play that came before this one. So. Yes, let's see. So, let's talk a bit about inspirations for like different parts of OC University. So, the structure of the top player interviews are definitely inspired by someone named Andrew Huberman. He hosts a podcast series that basically focuses on like one theme for um, each month. So. He dedicates one month to a specific topic and then he has weekly episodes and he might have like guest speakers come on or he just talks about different like he goes like really really deep into any specific topic like throughout that month and that is something that i think has inspired me a lot for the series um or the interview series structure so yeah shout out to andrew huberman those podcasts are very very helpful i will have his channel linked in the description but yes, let's see. So honestly, I think one of the main motivators for me for OC University is just the fact that like, I know a lot of, okay, I mentioned this at the end of OC PhD as well, but like a lot of top players, like people that are just very experienced at things, they sort of take the information that they have for granted almost. And I also think that there's somewhat of like a disconnect between top players in the general community. So I think a lot of people in general feel like 
top players are like very unapproachable and there's just no real centralized place to like distribute information or like have top player or experienced player opinions and thoughts be made public right so that's one of my main main motivators for um you know cultivating OC University into the sort of place that it is uh let's see next map next map okay so um yeah so that is why um it is something that I mentioned at the start of like all my interviews actually over there as the sort of intro so if you've ever listened to one of those interviews and not skip past the intro then that's um that's probably what you'll hear me say as well that i think there's sort of this disconnect between top players and the general community and OC university is basically my attempt at fixing that basically or sort of alleviating that as much as possible so let's let's see we can talk about other sort of features of OC University that I sort of are planned for I guess the coming months so okay one thing that I think would be really interesting is basically having okay those of you who are into like things like research there's like research journals right um or you know what's called literature and basically having like OSU literature and like um sort of cultivating a place for people to do like actual research experiments on like different OSU related things. I think the thing with OSU improvement is that a lot of it is very like like just theory based and any research that is done like it's very hard to find it's few and far between maybe it gets posted on reddit or something and then like the reddit post just gets lost in the in the ocean that is the OSU game subreddit. So yeah I think it would be really cool to have some sort of published like like ability to publish OC research in a place that's very very accessible to everyone and you also I guess would be able to like recruit people for your studies through like people of the OC University community like the discord server so uh, yes if you ever see anyone with the researcher role in OC University the discord server um, that is what that is so uh, if you'd be interested in stuff like that, you know, if you have your own research ideas, then definitely join OC University and or send me a message about it. And I'm more than happy to get you on board basically. Or if you do know of any research sort of that has been done in the past or shown throughout like OC Game or even like the OC forums, OC Game being the subreddit by the way. But um, yeah, I think OC needs more objective answers and not just speculation. I think that is a huge problem with, I think community in general is improvement, you know, misinformation and um, you know, it is time to put an end to that, okay? <laughs> so yeah, something else about OC University and I guess just my content in general is that I know a, a lot of top players in the past, I've heard them talk about how they would really, really like to make a bunch of YouTube videos explaining like all their different thoughts and like answering common questions. Ideally to the point where every time someone messages them a question, they can just link the relevant YouTube video and not have to worry about it. I've heard a lot of people talk about that, but then they're like, oh, I don't know how, or like, they're like, I don't know, I'm lazy or like, I'll, I'll get to it or like, I'm still working on it, blah, blah, blah. And uh, I was like, you know what, someone, someone needs to show the world that it is not about, I don't, I don't know, some people have mentioned that like, oh, um, your videos are like not really edited at all. And it's like, oh, I don't know, why don't you edit your videos? And the reason, okay, so first of all, I think I don't really believe in editing. I, I, I stopped really believing in editing for certain types of videos. So I think educational videos or like things that are just explaining or like telling a story those videos really don't need to be edited that much and I think a big inspiration for me in that regard was Mr. Moist Critical Charlie he like I looked through his videos and it's like these videos are just like not edited maybe he like cuts out some dead space or like you know splices segments but for the most part he just like clicks record he just talks about whatever standing in front of the camera and then he just like ends the video and then if um 
if that's not the video, then it's probably just a live stream highlight that's completely unedited for the most part. Um, but uh, yeah, very minimal editing, and, and I think that is so inspiring, so inspiring. Um, but uh, yeah, I think I have been trying to sort of be that person that just puts things out there. I think like an, an unedited explanation is much better than an explanation that was never published because it was never finished editing. Um, so yeah, that, that is basically my mindset towards um, stuff like that. Also, you know, uploading every single day as you guys I'm sure no, I upload every single day. You guys should subscribe to my channel and and stay notified. But um, yes, anyway, that is largely that. Just a bit of a talk about inspirations for OC University and its history and um, a bit about its future as well. Um, so hopefully you found that interesting. Let me know in the comments if you guys have suggestions for future episode topics. I do read all the comments in these videos. And like I just mentioned, check out my channel. Please, please watch my other videos. I upload every single day. And those videos are just waiting for you to look through them, search my channel for any topic you might find interesting or that you want to learn more about and see if I have a video on it. If not, then stop by my Twitch streams and just ask me about it. And I will answer the question and I will probably use that answer as a highlight to upload to YouTube. So, um, Yes, you guys are the real ones sort of inspiring this channel in many different ways. And I appreciate all of you. And yes, with that, I'll see you guys next time.